which of the following is equal to this? Note, i equals the square root of negative 1. Whatever you do, don't just multiply 14 by 7 and then negative 2i by 12i and be done with it. You have to FOIL this, right? If this were x minus 2 times x plus 12, you'd have to FOIL it. So it's no different if we have these imaginary numbers. So let's go ahead and write this out and then FOIL. So we're going to do the first times the first. So 14 times 7 is 98. And then we're going to do the outsides, 14 times 12i. So what's 14 times 12? A little arithmetic here. 168. So we get plus 168i. And then minus 14i, we do the insides, and then minus 24i squared. Now this 24i squared, i squared, since i is the square root of negative 1, i squared is just going to be negative 1. So this becomes negative 1, which means negative 24 times negative 1 gives me plus 24. So let me rewrite all of this. And now let me combine like terms. Things without an i I can combine, and things with an i I can combine. So 98 plus 24 is 122. 168i minus 14i is 154i. So here's my final answer. It's choice D. Yet another question that is perhaps difficult, but frankly boring. Because if you remember how to deal with your imaginary numbers, you've probably done this kind of thing with complex numbers in your class where you have to FOIL them. If you remember the rules, how to do it, if you remember that I squared thing, this isn't hard. But again, there isn't much critical thinking here. It's do you remember the facts that you learned and the algorithms you learned in math class? If you do, hooray. Uh, so not much more to say on this one.